Today, I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> it's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika. So nice to meet you. Hey, Mika. I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man. You need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Whoa! It's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow! And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. <gasps> Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? Yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Oh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> and look, another rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lemire. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making today. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well, this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh. Perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple, too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one and of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently <laughs> that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light. But very, very good. Oh, I'd like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay. You want to do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Wow. All right. Go ahead 
and pour the whole thing inside. All right. Alrighty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine. Pour that one, one inside of there. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. Tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. Where to go? You actually make two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow, check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm going to start off by just hitting this button. And this one. And now it's ready to come out. So I'm going to stir up the top a little bit. Get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah. All right. Looks great. I'm going to let it out. I'm going to demonstrate on this one, and you're going to do that one, okay? Okay. All right. So you want to bring it to the center. You have to lift it up, and then the product comes out. And we want to stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. Then once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're going to stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You want to start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> gonna stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay? All right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> so now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> was so much fun. <laughs> happy ice, happy ice, sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Yeah. You're welcome, enjoy. <laughs> Another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. See you later, friends. It's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. 
So today, I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oop. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's going to grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers. See? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. 
Whoa! I get it! You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See? You put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo! <laughs> oh, look at this! You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. Sit down, and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast, that was awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's put this over here. And oh, my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Whoa, this is so fun. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Whoa. Good night. Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. Woohoo! You can do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons, and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour, and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and this, is a juicer. So 
We're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm. Smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay. think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. It's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast them! I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> oh, great, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. Did 
you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go power and explore. Click, click. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I wanna get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. Okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt though. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay! We did it! We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool! Let's go! This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three. Never ever 
quit it. We did it. Awesome! Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it! We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work and I especially want to thank my best friend Blippi for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out! An airplane building station. That's right! Airplanes fly through the air too! Okay, I'll start with a sheet of paper and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time. And another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Woo! Whoa! Let's go! We made it to the launching pad. The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. <gasps> okay, let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here and we'll push this green button in three. Two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. <gasps> I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash. And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky ooey gooey glue. <laughs> Now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> okay, we got our get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> okay, we have our purple glitter and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow. Do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow. Oh, okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. 
Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye-bye.